So at this point here, we've got all the roof sheeting torn off here, and uh, we've got a lot of the insulation removed. You can see that, that the roof framing is totally gone from this side of the roof. There is absolutely no roof framing left there. This is, this is absolutely the worst that I have ever seen a rot situation. Okay, so believe it or not, we're just on the afternoon of day one here. We've made some progress. The way that this was framed with two separate pieces, a lower piece and an upper piece, actually allowed the guys to come in and do the insulating work. Um, we have a ton of foam insulation in here, um, providing virtually perfect insulation value and air sealing that's going to prevent these problems in the future. You can see around where the skylights go, that's all sealed up now and, and air sealed. You can also see that right there is where a recessed can light is poking through. That's being converted to an LED can light, which will not provide, uh, won't throw much heat. That's going to have some space to breathe on top of it so that when there is heat there, it doesn't cause it to trip on and off. Now, see, the issue is remaining here. You can see how much rot there is all the way, all the way starting over here, basically coming across the entire roof, 10 rafters over to here. And originally at the very top of the roof over here, there was a little bit of ventilation. So this area here did not have the recessed can lights causing the problems. And it also had a little ventilation up at the top, which allowed that area, uh, it didn't create the problem because the can lights weren't leaving the leakage and generating the heat, the heat making making moist air go into that like a, like a chimney. These areas here were the worst where the can lights are generating heat and there was no ventilation at the top. And then furthermore, there were the problems around the skylight here um, that uh, because of how that was improperly done. But, you know, insult to injury, we've got some work to do here. That rafter was cut for a skylight and th that rafter is unsupported at the end right there. On top of that, there's a bow window in this area right here. Someone retrofitted this bow window without putting a header in there. There is this, this is a nine foot wide window right here with no header. Now you can see that window right here, how that was done, no header. Um, it's just unfathomable that someone could be that careless, that reckless. They are either bad builders, bad remodelers, or they are a dishonest person uh, who took advantage of an unknowing homeowner. In any case, it is very sad. We need to fix that while we're here too.